There are no molds used in the making of this magic mushroom. The first step is the pulling of the stem. He heats about half of the tubing while rotating continually. And then when the glass is ready, he draws it out slowly while rotating. Then he puffs gently within the tubing so that it doesn't flatten but maintains the round shape. He uses a sharp, focused flame to heat a very narrow section. He puffs gently and then pushes the tubing together slightly to create a narrow disc, which is the ring of the mushroom. A bushier flame is used to thoroughly heat the remaining tubing to create the mushroom's cap. Do you know that Laosha is the birthplace of the glass Christmas ornament? Legend has it that an impoverished glass blower who couldn't afford the traditional fruits on the tree instead replaced them with those made of glass, and thus an industry was born. You'll notice Michael is pushing the tubing together slightly to thicken the walls. This compensates for how completely he blows out the tubing and helps maintain an even wall thickness throughout the piece. The cap is now kind of a doorknob shaped bubble and in the reheat Michael pushes the points together slightly to make a more appropriate mushroom cap shape. He heats a very narrow section to create a crisp delineation between the top of the cap and the underside or the mushroom's gills. The point is removed, the cap is reheated, and then he draws off the excess glass. Another puff restores the shape, and then it's time to flame a kneel. Michael inspects the piece with a critical eye, and now it's time to move on to the next phase of production. Multiple ornaments are stored and transported on a board filled with nails. Check out the pipette used for silvering, handmade by Michael, out of his tubing. He's created a great silver delivery system. First comes a squirt of silver nitrate, and then a healthy helping of the reducing agent, which is also delivered via a handy dandy bit of blown tubing. He shakes it all together, and into a pot of hot water it goes. He continues shaking, and then the mirrored finish is evenly distributed throughout the piece. Genau das ist das scheiß Problem mit dem scheiß Pilz. Da kommt sehr viel raus, wenn die hier unter sich gehen, sind die Viecher. Da müssen wir jetzt Öl noch mehr ausspülen. Da unten geht ja, da bleibt natürlich nicht mehr. Jetzt den Ableit löst sich so wieder hoch. Mm. Dann haben wir einen Tausch. Do you rinse them? Hm? Do you pour water in? To get... Uh, water inside? I mean after, like now. Do you put more water after in? After that, yes. I said it to Thomas. Do you understand it? Only the mushrooms. But only the mushrooms. But, but because we have... Uh, because of the... The form. Of the form, we have a special problem with these mushrooms. When I want to put out the rest of the silver nitrate, uh, not the whole silver nitrate gets out because of this ring here. Yeah. So You can hear the rest and uh, that's a problem because when it stays longer here in this area then uh, the, the silver uh, gets black. Like an old mirror. Yeah. You know. So what do you do? So uh, we <laughs> we make a 
We make a lots of of, uh, of uh, mushrooms today, only silvering. Mm -hmm. But the one day after, we must. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, okay. With clear water. Yeah. Yes. Revive it. And then once again. And then we hope it's enough. And wow. So they're they're extra work. Yes, it's extra work. Cool. So that's a high cloud sucker. Wieso? What? Klappensache? Ja, weil das so das wie hoch. Ja, wie hoch, ja. Ja. Cool.